Good afternoon. Bill Lattis back with you from Amherst Financial Training, continuing with our series on the capital markets and capital market opportunities. And what we want to highlight on this module is an amazing opportunity in today's market relative to interest rates. You know, in the U.S. Treasury market, interest rates are around 3% right now. There is a product that is greatly overlooked by Wall Street and the financial community. And that product is a type of security called an I-bond. Now, the talking heads on TV and the money managers don't often reference this product because, quite frankly, there's no profit opportunity for them. There's no re there's no markup opportunity. But yet for the investor, the retail investor, this is a heck of an opportunity. So we're going to talk for a moment about these saving certificates called I-bonds. Now, for any of you that might have white hair like me, you might remember that as we grew up, it was often quite common that family members would give us as gifts and presents at holiday time, savings bonds. And they came in envelopes and they were pretty certificates and they were Series E and Series H savings bonds that some of you might remember. Well, those are actually a throwback from the old war bonds program. But Wall Street traditionally hasn't looked at these bonds because they don't offer any trading opportunity. There's no income opportunity for those. But what I want to highlight for today is there is another type of savings certificate, much like the E and the H, but they're what are called I-bonds. And they really warrant attention here because these I-bonds are what we call floating rate securities. They change their rate of return based on something else. And what they base their rate of return on is inflation. Now, the truth is for the last year, inflation here in the U.S. and globally has reared its ugly head, right? We're looking at an inflation rate now here in the U.S. at over 8%. Well, the reality is these bonds take that phenomenon, and let's face it, inflation is a tax we all pay. Well, these bonds, these I-bonds, base their rate of return on that same inflation. So we're taking lemons and turning it into lemonade. So these bonds just reset their coupon on May 1st of 2022, just a couple of days ago from this, from this production. And when the Coupon was reset on those I-bonds on May 1st. The coupon for the next six months is 9.62%. Government guaranteed, I'll repeat that. 9.62% is the rate of return you'll earn on these government-backed I-bonds for the next six months. Now on November 1st, the coupons will reset again to reflect what inflation has done for the next six months. So if, like me, you're worried that inflation is not just a problem now, which it is, but more importantly, will continue to be a problem, then these I-bonds can be very attractive investments. In fact, at the reset that we just had in, a week ago, the coupon prior for the last six-month period was over 7% at a time, again, when treasuries were only yielding 2 Now, there's a lot of features about these I-bonds. And in this video, we're not going to have time to cover all of them. But I do want to stress a couple of important ones. So you're buying a bond, or no, you're buying a savings certificate, pardon me, that the coupon will reset to reflect inflation every six months, which obviously means that can be a double-edged sword, right? If inflation continues to go up, the coupon on these bonds will go even higher. Conversely, though, if inflation does go down, the coupon of these bonds will go down. So that's one of the risks you have. I also want to point out quickly, these are actually 30-year savings certificates. When you buy these from the Treasury Department, you're buying for 30 years. But I don't want you to think of it as a 30-year investment. Because the way these work is that if you buy an I-bond, for the first year, you are locked out. You have no liquidity. You're stuck with it. So you have to hold on to it for at least a year. But after a year, going out to five years, if you choose to redeem your savings certificate, now you're not going to sell it, you're going to redeem it back to the Treasury Department, you only lose three months worth of interest. That's not a bad penalty. And if you choose to redeem it after five years, there's no interest rate penalty at all. So I really don't think you should consider this as a 30-year investment, more think of it as a five-year. But I cannot stress strongly enough, in today's market, these I-bonds are giving you a government-backed rate of return that is three times the level you can get on a traditional treasury. That's one heck of an opportunity that really wants more attention. So what I've done is I have prepared a primer on my firm's website where we explain, because again, nobody's out there promoting these, making investors aware. 
So on my website, we have a primer for you as to what these I-bonds are all about. And the devil's in the detail, so take a look at that. And then more importantly, we send you then on to the Treasury's webpage where you can actually buy the I-bonds. And for individuals, you can buy up to $10,000 a year of these I bonds, and with particular circumstances, you could actually do another 5,000. So, without getting into the trivia of it, it is possible to invest in 15,000 of these I bonds annually. And again, at a 9.62 percent, he says redundantly repeating himself because it's so attractive. These are bonds that warrant attention. I suggest you at least take a look at them. In further programs, we'll be back. We'll talk more about the Fed. We'll talk more about opportunities. We're trying to make this as timely as possible. Thanks for joining us. See you at another class.